Hello, First Updates now. My name is Nick, and I'm here with Team 1625 Winnovation at the Rock River Robotics Off-Season Competition in Rockford, Illinois. Winnovation's had an impressive season, making it to the finals at the Iowa Regional. They have some incredibly unique geometry in their manipulator and a lead screw to help run it. All this and more coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. All right, we'll be starting off with Carson to cover their steel ballast, orange chicken, and lead screw. Uh, so the idea for the steel ballast is our robot, as you can tell, is very tall and top heavy. And what happened at Midwest, it actually tipped and, well, it didn't work after that. Well, it worked, but that. But like, so we needed a way to keep it balanced. So this, we just put a bunch of steel plates because top heavy robots are, you get one good knock, they're down. And with the orange chicken on the lead screw, which is only subject, um, it's basically like a stopper and we decided to have a little fun with it and make a fun little design. So an orange chicken just came up to mine. And since, you know, orange chicken, Panda Express, we all love Panda Express here. And so we named it Panda. And what else? And with the lead screw, basically, we wanted to figure out how to get this to rock back and forth. And we don't use pneumatics anymore because last, our last year's bot had this infinite pneumatic leak. It was not fun and we could never solve it. But it worked. So, All right, thank you, Carson. Now we're moving over to Merrick to cover the manipulator system. Um, so our bot um, has a fairly, I feel like, unique manipulator system. Um, it has three different sort of subsystems that all work together to create the larger hole. Um, so the first part, um, at least the outermost part, is the sh what we call the shoulder, um, controlled by the lead screw, which provides motion like this. Um, Inside of that, connected up by the gears up here, um, and a hex axle, uh, is the elbow, <clears throat> um, which allows it to swing in and out. Um, and then down here is the wrist joint, which contains the intake, um, which uses rollers to manipulate game pieces. This has been 1625 Winnovation. Good luck going into eliminations, and thank you for watching. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in first scholarship. Scholarship applications will open in September. Get ready to go pro and get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.